Welcome back to the His and Hers podcast. I am David Cisneros here with Nikki Glamour. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Happy Monday. Monday already. Already. We hope you are like ready to start your week off right. Of course. Yeah. Um. Did you have a good? Did you have a good weekend? You know, I did. I did. Um. You know, I went out with this guy. Oh. And do tell. Yeah. No, it was amazing. We did like this impromptu type of uh, trip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We actually uh, went out of state for the first time in two, two and a half, three years. It's been a. Been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our honeymoon. Since our honeymoon. Since our honeymoon, I was pregnant with Ezra. So I couldn't even yeah. drink. You know. Yeah. Like that, I was that, in Turks and Caicos and could not even drink. That was the last time we went out of town on vacation. Yeah. Anywhere. After our yeah. wedding. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. And time then you remember we were working. stuck at the airport for like 24 oh, hours. Oh, my God. Did we full? ever tell a story about? No. We haven't. What an ordeal that dude. was. Yeah. No. I don't even remember like. The full details, but I just remember that I do. Uh, we, we, so like pretty much right after the wedding, um, that night we went home, straight up packed for Turks and Caicos, right? Yeah. But we didn't have any luggage. Just we are the worst travelers that there are. Actually, we're the most efficient. Okay. Yeah. Efficient. All right. Uh, we 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 don't plan really well when we travel, like we. After the wedding, we went home in the limousine and then started packing. We didn't have any luggage. Like, we just had some bullshit. Like, I had a duffel bag. <laughs> like, we we're packing. I had for a like, carry on. We we're packing for like a week to go, right? And we were like, we're not going to take any um, any bags. We're gonna we're not going to check in any bags. We're just going to take carry ons because yeah. number we're one, we're not trying to pay I that extra it. money. And I was like, fuck that. And they, I don't want to risk getting our shit lost. Yeah. And I don't like going through baggage claim because it takes forever. Yeah, true. So if we can just take carry-ons, then that's what we'll do. Yeah. So we did that. We get to the airport. And do you remember what time? Like, it had to be like It was 11. like crazy. Yeah, it was in the morning. No, it was earlier in the morning. Cause Real, well, yeah, 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 it right, was crazy right. early in the morning. Um, you know, like 3 o'clock, like an ungodly yeah, hour. F- 3 or 4. So we go. And they did something fucked up with like my ticket or your ticket. It was my ticket. It was yours. Yeah. Where like I wasn't able to get on the plane. So Nikki was calling. Uh huh. <laughs> she spent like a whole. So anyway, we ended up having to go back home yep. because the whole thing wasn't figured out. So we go home. We're like, we, we're a whole day late for our honeymoon by this time. Yeah. So we go to Target. We get like some actual luggage. <laughs> And we do just you do it remember right. when we went to Target to go get do our Do you luggage? remember? Do you remember? <laughs> Did you remember? <laughs> when it was like. Um, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Copyright. <laughs> I stopped. I know. Just in time. What did we find mm-hmm. at Target that night before we left for our honeymoon? I felt like it was a stroke of luck that blessed our marriage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Found like a twenty dollar bill. No, or something, right? it was like 60, 60 bucks. It was yeah. a good sixty. Oh yeah, it was like ridiculous. Yeah, we asked and it was nobody's. No, yeah, no, it was nobody's. So, so we're, yeah, I mean, thank you to whoever that was. It was a great wedding gift. <laughs> I'll pay for one of our uh, um, bags. So that was cool. <laughs> no, dude, it was like such a crazy night. So, anyways, we get our luggage mm-hmm. uh, from Target and then uh, we went home. We packed properly. And then, well, sort of properly. Yeah. And then uh, we went back to the airport, and I was just pissed because the freaking resort doesn't give a shit. Because we went through like a travel agency, you can't, right? Yeah, we went through a travel agency, and that's the thing about getting packaged shit, um, because the resort don't care Mm-mm. what happens with your flight. Yeah. Um, and then even when they have like the quote unquote insurance packages, like it's not really insurance. Yeah. So like the flight insurance. That pretty much just protects from if there's like a fucking hurricane or some shit. Yeah, like an act of God. Yeah, right. Like that. That's the only thing it protects against. Yeah. Like it doesn't. I like know. Somebody like in your family so could die. People that are like, you know, have told me it's literally useless. Yeah. Like I've had a family emergency and it doesn't like uh, cover like the cancellation of my flight nope. or anything like that. And I was nope. like, remember my parents had to go through that shit. With, oh yeah. Because mm-hmm. my sisters. 
what her passport was like expired or yeah. something, right? Mm-hmm. And so they had to get like an expedited passport, and that was a whole ordeal. They were crying. Man, it, it is. I couldn't go to Cancun for the 18th time in a row. <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> I was laughing you at You sound him. like a hater. I was laughing at him. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Damn, how come it wasn't like this when I was growing no, up? No, dude, because fuck? then, you know, the resort that we were going to, they straight up told me they were like, you know, I was yeah. like, is there anything that you guys can do? Like, you know, as far as maybe like reimbursement, because this wasn't our fault either. There was liter- like a legitimate mm-hmm. issue with his ticket. Like the book. And then also when we got that situated, then there was an issue with the mechanics of that plane. Oh, yeah. You remember that? I shit you not. Yeah, and I, by the end of it, yo, I was like. Trying not to tear my hair out. I was three months pregnant with Ezra. I was very much like. No lie. You spent like 24 hours on the phone. On the <laughs> On hold phone. pretty much the whole time. I was like, somebody's going to answer for this. So, yeah. but the resort was like, nah, fuck that. Like, yeah, you lost the us. whole day uh, mm-hmm. that you already paid for. And now nah, we're not about to reimburse you. So, be careful with that. And the original flight was from Denver to, I think, Miami, right? Yeah. To Miami and then from Miami it was gonna be like a shorter flight and then it, the second flight that we had to take was from Denver to like New York mm-hmm. and then to Turks and Caicos mm-hmm. so it took way longer than it should have and we got there like a day and a half late yeah and then when we got to Turks and Caicos we check in I don't even know what it's like in the morning in, in Turks and Caicos I'm maybe yeah. like afternoon or something like that. It's like, yeah, 11. Like, noon. yeah, something like that. So we get there, we check in, we're like, cool. And then we go up, take our stuff upstairs. Beautiful place, by Yeah. Way. And we have like a, a like a person, not a personal, but there's like a private beach at mm-hmm. this hotel. So there's like a little canal or whatever. And it's just a little personal beach just for that hotel. There's nobody else on it. It's very small. And we go back downstairs. We're like, let's check it out. We just lay on the chairs. We just pass out. We we pass out on this beach. I'm talking dead asleep. Yeah, we wake up, and there's, like, a guy over me, like, do you want anything to drink? And I was like. Like, <laughs> we use the beach towels as blankets. Yeah. And we actually, like, our first full, like, rest was on the beach in front of everybody. We were pretty much gone, like, two days without sleep. Yeah. And I and was just, wedding. like, so, yeah, we were exhausted. <sighs> yeah. So, we fell asleep right there. <laughs> and it's funny, because when Nikki and I go on vacation, we don't have any itinerary yeah. anywhere that we go. No. So, when we went to Turks and Caicos, we, well, well we did this in Miami. We, when we went to Miami the first time, this is before you were popping. <laughs> And uh, we just... How dare you? We we booked it, like, last second. We're like, fuck it. And then we got the money for the hotel, like, last second. Mm-hmm. And then we're like... So we go there, and... Now, I surprised you No, we with were, that trip for your birthday. Yeah, but we were both... Book, we were booking it together online. For the hotel, yes. So we were, like, going... Yeah, because you got the plane tickets, yeah. and I was like, cool, I got the hotel. And so I had to get the money for the hotel, <laughs> which... That was an ordeal in itself. God, we, yeah. The struggle um, was I had a, real, I had a really hustle to get, to get that money. But so we go there. We have no plan. We, we we get to the hotel, and then, like, the hotels in Miami, they're not, like, these big corporate hotels. They're just, like, some – they kind of just look like houses. Yeah, like three, four like on level Beach. buildings. Yeah, so you get there, and it's, like, kind of shady. There's, like, a statue of a guy with a dick. You're just like, what are we getting into? <laughs> and then there's like, you know, red lights lining the hallway. And yeah. like, you know, like there's just like some weird elements that are like, wait, what the fuck? Where am I? So we get there like at three or four o'clock in the morning. We always and we have get to wait until like eight crazy o- hours yeah. because it's always the cheaper ticket. Yeah. So obviously. we had to wait like until like six thirty or seven o'clock to check in. Yeah. We had to like wait in the lobby, just chilling. And like the lobby is not like a hotel lobby. It's like a... Uh, like somebody's living room almost with, <laughs> those, like, with a bar like, in it. Right? That's yeah. kind of what it was like. And then, and then when we finally wait, we wait all this time and then this dude finally yeah. clocks in for work and then he gives us the key to the room and it's literally the first room <laughs> on the left. Like we were sitting outside of our room in yeah. Miami. So The whole time. Yeah. So when we go to the East Coast, because we're mountain time right so when we go to the east coast anytime we vacation anytime we've probably gone to the east coast together like what 
five times lot now or something like that. <laughs> five? Yeah, we went to New York. We went to North Carolina. We went to um, Miami. And then we went to Turks and Caicos. So I guess four times. I was close. Who is the fifth with? That was it. I said I was close four times. I was, I was close to five. I was just, you sound very defensive. I was just running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to do that. I was like, man, this better be the right number. <laughs> yeah, you, I can feel your panic as I'm you like, were going I, through. I, you were like, to, <laughs> I, tried to, I, I was like, oh, I went to Miami again <laughs> with uh, your brother. So... Anytime Nikki and I go on vacation, we don't got no plan. But that's like the best. Okay, because there are, there are two types of travelers, in my opinion, like just generally. Um, there's the traveler that has to have an itinerary that feels as though it's a waste of time. It's a waste of an experience. If you don't have like a time slot for everything to fit everything in. Yeah. My brother is that way. Um, oh yeah, your brother is totally that way. My Thea is that way, and that's because my Thea was the the one taking us mm. like traveling, you know, always. Yeah. And she lived off a of schedule. Oh my god, my Thea would like get on my nerves with that. Like, <laughs> and I mean, like on schedule, she will leave your ass behind. Yeah. If you are one minute late, and then she walks hella fast. Uh, Doesn't matter like how early. So my brother's like that. Now my mom. She ain't like that. Don't bother her on vacation. She's yeah. going to do whatever the fuck she wants to do. And I think I got that from her. That's kind of how I am. My grandma's like that, too. My grandma's very leisurely. Yeah. She needs her time to chop, and yeah. she needs her time to eat. I'll get there when I get there. And, like, yeah. whatever. But she, uh, I I am not the type of person that needs an itinerary. I just, like, Mm-mm. I think the furthest that I go is, like, if I want to do any excursions which i've never done before like shows or something like that like some we have to like plan in advance like make reservations yeah but otherwise like when we went to vegas this last time like we were just having to find places to eat as we went because yeah we didn't we didn't make no reservations we just literally walked into like hotels we're like we'll just eat here yeah yeah that's that's what we did it's just it's just how we vacation but you know what we, we have the most fun doing that yeah, because... It's just kind of like, fuck it. Yeah, it's unexpected. It's probably like the only part of our life that isn't planned out yeah. meticulously. But it doesn't mean that so we're not doing that anything. We, no, like, no. We, we well, have when we balance. go to the East Coast, though, we... This is how... When we go to the East Coast, this is how we vacation. We sleep until like 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. And then we're up until like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Just because our internal clocks are just so messed up from the time change. Because... It's like a two-hour time difference between yeah. here and, and, and the East mm-hmm. Coast. But you know what? It was such a party at the Miami clubs. Like, so Oh, yeah. Fun. Miami was so fun. Then that diner that we went to with the pinkies outside. What is it called? Pinkies Diner or something like that? With the uh, beetles that were outside? Oh, yeah. I took where a you picture. Took that picture? Yeah. With your gold dress? Uh-huh. The one is that, that the you dress I got me? you there? Yeah. You took That's me right. to a boutique. Was that the... That wasn't the Kardashian one, nah, was No, it? it was right next door because the Kardashian one was closed at the moment. Because oh, I wanted it? to shop there, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's right. That I was uh, where Dash was, Dash Boutique. Y'all we went to a nice the... restaurant there, too. Yeah. Man, we eat pretty good when we go on vacation. Oh, man, that's what we, like, will not, you know, like, miss out on. Right. Especially, like, in Miami. Oh, my God, it was so good. The food, mwah, just yeah. so. Seafood, fresh as fuck. Like, mm-hmm. the Cuban food, so fire. Oh, Cuban I food just... was so good. Oh my god! And I know that you had even food, more. Oh, y'all was so salty because David got to go on his bachelor mm-hmm. getaway, and I still have to make up for mine because I was pregnant. Mm. And he got to go with my brother and his friends to Miami. Yeah. So do tell about this. I heard you saw some titties Where? in my in Miami. Where else? Oh yeah. Where yeah. else did you see? Yeah, we saw some titties. Y'all did? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. Um, How was that? It was, uh, you know, one of those like things. Like with my brother, no less. Like, we're, <laughs> he's the one that pointed it out. <laughs> we're driving down the street, and he's like, oh, look at this bitch. <laughs> like, she's wearing, like, um, a. Like one of those mesh things, he told me. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a like mesh. A, like one of those things, like, you put over your, your swimsuit, right? Uh-huh, like, like girls, a cover-up? Yeah, that like, but it's, like, just completely mesh, kind of like. Kind of like my chair. Yeah, exactly. Like like that. Yeah. But she didn't have a swimsuit underneath it. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then and then my other friend in the back seat, he like he had a girlfriend at the time, and uh, 
they weren't like really serious, but it was just funny because your brother was like, he was like, hey, check it out. And he was like, ah, no, he he's like, didn't. I have a girlfriend. No, he didn't. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, we're like, nobody's telling you, you to go over there and have sex scene. with her. Like, it's fine. You're just saying, look, no. look at the novelty of just a lady standing on the sh- fucking sidewalk with the. With the I mean, why did she even put the effort to even wear that? I don't because she can't just walk around naked. Was a, this is still a was. piece of clothing. I, I guess. You know what I mean? I, I guess. I guess. It's like that meme with the, you know, with the door lock instead of a deadbolt, it's like a Cheeto. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. That? Yeah. I've seen that. The other side is like a battering <laughs> ram with the police. Like, yeah, it is just like that. <laughs> it's like being covered up. Well, it's just funny because, okay, so like David won't bring this shit to me. Like he won't say, oh, yeah, I saw the craziest shit. Like, because, you know, he, you're with me. So like, I just yeah. feel like you see me differently. But my brother, completely different conversation. My brother be talking yeah. to me like I'm his brother. And so, you know, he was always, he was like, yeah, you know, we saw these, these bitches standing on the side of the street with no fucking clothes on. And you know, all her titties was out. Me and David saw it, but like AJ was being <laughs> fucking weird. And like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, you know, and so the whole time David's just sitting there, I was like, oh, my eyeballs you saw got some salted. titties. Okay. Oh. But I made up for it because uh, we went, we we hung out at the gay beach the whole time in Miami. Oh, I'm, I mean, yeah. Which was fun. Gay beach is very nice. You know nice. what? Top we didn't tier. even know. We didn't even know we were in the gay beach. We prefer gay bars and gay beaches, apparently. Oh, yeah. Man, gay bars are, are the Gay best. bars are the shit. Gay beaches? We're like, man, this beach is really clean. Like, this beach is nice. Shut up. Are I, you serious? I swear. We're like, man, this beach is nice. It wasn't like the beach we went into Miami? No. Remember that beach was kind of like. No. Like, it wasn't like a lot of people. Oh. It, it, was, it was nice. It was clean. Capacity. I was like, man, this is nice. Capucci. And then, like, we start kind of, like, looking around. We're like. Ooh, like that? I'm like, oh. Ooh. And then, like, the street sign is, like, a rainbow. Like, instead of, like, the regular, like, green. Uh-huh. It's like a rainbow. We're like. Hmm. And then like That's we then we posted on like uh Instagram and the location is like gay beach. We're like, oh okay, well that yes, explains that makes it. it. That makes sense. That makes Which, sense. I, hey, look, hey, my brother said care, he, he had the best time of his life. He was like, Yeah, hey, we just got beach. in the ocean, like just <laughs> the gay the gay beach in Miami great. Now it we know where great. to go. Cause uh mm-hmm. our beach experience there was not like gay that. beaches, gay bars, elite. All right, but like here's the thing though. David and I, we do something during every trip that we take, which is like, it it doesn't cost no money. It's just walking. You just fucking kind of like get lost in the city that you're in. Yeah. And you just fucking walk. Because even in Miami, Mm -hmm. we went to that little outdoor mall, remember? Yeah. I just enjoy like getting lost for a moment, but like not freaking out and continuing to like walk. And I swear on everything we find the craziest shit like in chicago we did that Mm -hmm. and we just ran into downtown chicago like the hub and like saw you know all the broadway signs and everything and uh we even ran into what was it uh transformers was filming filming there there. and they had it like uh all staged to look like japan i still haven't seen that transformers movie to this day to this day and And, we saw the whole set and i was trying to get in because they were having like open like open auditions but i guess kind of open auditions to be like a nurse extras yeah to be an extra um but you had to be like an asian chick to be the asian nurse oh which Makes sense. I, I didn't fit the description 100%. So. <laughs> yeah, we were a little bummed. We were trying to like see I was like, into well, the set. I guess I'm not being in the Transformers. Yeah, so we had, we, we just like walked. We just walked in Chicago and then we yeah. did that in Miami. We found like this little cute outdoor mall and a theater. We just went to the movie spontaneously. Mm-hmm. And then. Um, yeah, we did go see a movie in Miami. Like, okay. Uh huh. And New York, of course. We did the same thing. We took off by ourselves. Mm-hmm. Like we had gone with family, with David's family. And, uh, but we took off by ourselves and we got on the train and we went to um, Spanish Harlem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got us some food and we shopped the little stores over there. You those, know, those, uh, of, the the Puerto Ricans in Spanish Harlem were not thrilled. Yeah, they were so mean to David. To see me. <laughs> not we're, to me, to David. Yeah, because Nikki kind of looks more amb- ambiguous. ambiguous, I guess. But They think I'm Puerto Rican. We're walking down the street, and he saw me, and he goes out loud. He's like, 
There's another fucking Mexican. <laughs> There's another fucking Mexican. Yeah. And like, like he's over there gesturing to David. And then he looks at me like, what the fuck are you with him? And I'm like, like what the fuck is your problem, I man? Like, but I was you like, know, there's more? New Yorkers, they just be saying what's on their mind. I love New York. New York is great. I love it. I just, I, my I, mom used to live there. And honestly, like, well, I plan to move to California, but I was I was so excited to have, like, my mom live there because I was like, I'll be, like, flying between California and New York like a high roller. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah. But she ended up moving back. So, uh-huh. But, God, we loved it. Ever since I, I went it. there for the first time, just. It's just cold. That's the only thing uh, I don't like. I don't I mean, like it's that it's cold. cold here, babe. Not as cold as there. I mean, uh, second worst blizzard in Colorado history this uh, year. Yeah. Well, like, you get a blizzard once every 20 years. Mm. That ain't bad. I'll take it. But New York, the Northeast. I mean, yes, the but humidity. That's the freezing one. I know, but like, can we talk about the spring and summer? I don't Especially know. Especially like spring. There, oh, I've only so been to New beautiful. York that one time. Oh, really? With me? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That was it. Oh, that's very cute. That's yeah. very sweet, babe. Yeah. We should go back though. We should. No, totally. And I want to take Julian for sure. Yeah, we gotta. You know we gotta mean? go during uh, nice weather months. Not summer. It's hot, but like spring. Really? Springish, like like April. I mean, I would say, like, even spring break would not be a bad idea because mm. we went during the summer when I was 16. Y'all know with my whole stepsister shit. Yeah. Um, we went, and it was so hot. And then some some of the trains have AC. A lot of them don't, especially the further out you go. Oh. Then the, the more, like, drinking the train gets. Right. And so we were going to Coney Island, and the AC apparently was out. Y'all, we had to sit in them capsules of trains, fucking the heat beating down on us, and we had to ride out to Coney Island just fucking. Surely that's fixed by now, right? I don't know. I mean, how long ago was that? That we was, I mean, I'm not aging myself. What you mean? I don't know. It was a few years ago. A few years <laughs> yeah, ago? Yeah, it was a few oh, years okay. ago. Uh, just, well, I've been with you for more than a few years, and I know it was before You don't that. have to go there, okay? I'm sorry, but, like, I'm the only person here that knows what it's like to be a 90s baby. So, I think, <laughs> you know, the conversation can be had if you, you would like. You have some nerve. You have some nerve. I cannot believe you. <laughs> Don't ever mm. try to expose mm. me. Because mm. remember, mm. I was the mm. young in the you pool back in the day. Thank mm. you. Uh. All your friends were all upset making fun of me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, three years, it really isn't that. All right. You guys let us know. Drastic. Is it weird for a 22-year-old to date a 19-year-old? Mm-hmm. Is it weird? Worked out okay. I, w- I mean, I would say. So, you think that, so, like, if Mila was was 19, you would be fine if she dated a a 22-year-old guy? I don't know. What's the guy like? Thank you. Amazing? (laughs) Yeah, thank you. Um, I mean, I'd rather Would that age difference bother you? I'd rather her just not date, you know, Uh, until she's, like, 30. I feel bad for whoever <laughs> she ends up with because my princess is a princess, okay? Yeah. Somebody has mm. to adore her. She yeah, she already don't. Know. And then she has her two brothers wrapped around her finger and her daddy. Oh, no. I, I already know her birthday <laughs> is the day after Christmas, and she's going to be telling her boyfriends, like, don't think you can just give me one present no. and call it no. both for no. Christmas and Nope. My birthday. You better give me two nope. different gifts. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be standing behind there like, exactly, Miha. That's exactly like, what damn. you said. Don't you let him get away with just one, yeah. you know, gift for your Christmas gift. No. Mm. Christmas and your birthday are two separate things. Yep. No, she's, you know, she's on Jesus' birthday. Oh, and my God. My I seriously thought that I was going to have her on Christmas. Yo, almost. I seriously thought. And then Midnight past and i was like i guess not nothing happened and then three four o'clock in the morning she was like yep i'm here i want to be here now she's eight like, hours later she's she, here she didn't want to share her birthday with nobody no. she didn't want to share it with jesus <laughs> not she's even like, mm. jesus she's like no yeah. thanks jesus i get my own day right it's my <laughs> day and celebration okay remember so. remember when we thought she was gonna be like the peaceful nice <sighs> yeah. sweet baby oh my god we were so wrong. So, so wrong. Ezra. She is 
Yeah. Ezra has a temper, but Ezra is very sweet and very emotional. And, yeah. like, he's just my kind-hearted baby. Mila comes out swinging, and she just is ready to fight at any point in time. And I know that a lot of y'all are going to say, oh, she got that for me. She got that for me. <laughs> I know. But yeah. you see, you got you to look at it from the source, okay? The okay. source is not me. Right. It's my grandma and my mm. mom. My mom got it. But my grandmother, honestly, has the same spirit as Mila in mm. that way, where my grandma is small. You've seen her, yeah. you know, feisty as fuck, always fighting when she was younger. Crazy. Very um, traviesa, like getting into things. She never listened to her parents. She was real spoiled by her dad, my grandma was. Ooh. Just like Mila and my grandma, her? my grandma had five brothers Ooh, that's five tough. that's rough you know what i mean yeah so like there's so many similarities between my grandma and mila and my grandma was very i don't even want to say was is very hot tempered and yeah. she's had her share of tussles in her life and i don't want mila to like oh you Mila. know, but Mila, like she already like be swinging off on the boys, and Mila I'm like, stop! Will stare you right in your eyes <laughs> with their hand up like this for like a good ten seconds. Stare you right in your eyes, and then she's like, <clears throat> and hit you. Yes, and it, I, I, it just it makes me so mad because you contemplated for like a good ten seconds of whether or not you should hit me, and you decided. Yes. Yes. I should hit and him. And not only are, am I going to hit the face. him in the face, I'm going to I'm going to give it like a sound effect. Ah, she yeah. always does this. Eh, like she like that's what you get. That's Whoa, what yeah. you get. That's what like seriously and I'm like oh, like she's yeah. pow-powing you. Like that's what oh, she yeah. does. It's not like it's not like a uh, spontaneous or some sort of like just a m- outburst. It's just like she literally thinks about it and she goes, "Yeah, yeah I'm going to fuck you up." Yeah. So that's the the, the thing with Mila. So she be beating up Ezra and Julian now. Ezra, Julian Ezra up. has a gift. I'm telling you, I call it now. What? The accuracy when he hits somebody, whether it's throwing something or using an object like today, for example. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Julian was, you uh-huh. know, watching Ezra and Mila in Ezra's room. They were all watching a movie in there, and Ezra apparently. Waited until Julian wasn't paying attention, grabbed a hanger, and mm. went to go hit Julian. And Julian specifically said, Mom, he made full contact. I did not see him coming. He made full contact with me and hit me so hard with that hanger. And you have to, he's made full contact with like hitting you. He, he makes full contact, like everything that he does when he throws something, when he hits, like just, there is no missing for him. No. Like it, it, like full, full fucking force like there is no he's his aim is spot on and yeah. his like hand-eye coordination is really good it is. but it's kind of scary because he's both really of our kids have the ability to catch us the fuck off guard and we be getting our asses oh yeah day. man like like if we're trying to feed them or something yeah it's a fight they'll just <laughs> you'll be going in and they'll just knock mm-hmm Knock your the spoon or fork like clear out of your hand across the room. Mila's the worst, dude. Mila be embarrassing me sometimes. Yeah, Mila is full on hand to hand combat. I know that. Like, I'm trying to like be like, okay, go fin, like. But then she. But then like, here's the fight. thing though. Like when you fight back with her, then she starts laughing. Yeah, she loves it when you fight back with her. If you're like, stop it, no, no. Like, like you know, <laughs> then she's like, ah, like you know, and I'm like, no, mama, yeah, like you crazy. cannot. Want to fight people? I'm scared. I don't want her to go. I don't want her to go to kindergarten and be beating up on the other little girls. And it's just bad because I swear on everything, we're not teaching her anything like that. She no. does not see anything. We do not hit. I have already learned the pow pows don't work. We've already like switched over to timeouts. Yep. Um, because we don't want them to associate that, you know, like, like and hitting. And, and then, yeah, we're really good about, like, we don't yell, use your inside voice. I have been able to, like, you know, teach Ezra how to breathe whenever he's, like, going through a tantrum. Because, you know, we're big on not yelling. But Mila, you would think that she comes from a volatile home because she just, real quick, no. she just literally, she walks around doing this. Swinging her arms in front of her to her sides when she, she walks. She acts so, like she's in prison because 
even like if you were to like in in the morning you you pour cheerios on her tray she'll just start like like yeah hunch over her cheerios and just start like just shoveling them into her mouth like somebody's about to take her food yeah you give her a granola bar she'll grab it with both hands and be like yeah, she like, like goes off by herself thing. and she'll like eat and all then, of it and just like eat all, demolish the whole thing. Like she's ready to fight. Yeah. She she thinks everybody's trying to take her food. Yeah. And like. And then she'll go up to Ezra and like try to punk Ezra for his snack. Yeah, she stole his snack today. Yeah. And like when she does her swing, like her arm swinging thing and she's walking, it doesn't matter if you're in her way, if the chair, the table, she's gonna. If you're in her way, you're gonna get hit. She doesn't. She tries. You're gonna get hit. She, she tries so hard to not show any signs of weaknesses. No, right. So she'll just like swing her arms, and she'll just hit whatever. Yeah. Anybody. Whatever. Yeah. Getting popped. Doesn't matter. I just. I don't know you guys, but I swear on everything. She is not being taught any of this. It yeah. is in her blood, and it is from, you know, she comes from a, a long line of feisty women. And I know your mom was feisty too. I just feel like mine were loud and feisty. Uh, yeah, my my mom was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she she was she was she was feisty. She when I think back on it, I'm like, nah, my mom, my mom was chill. But then I remember some of the stories. And I'm like, <sighs> nah, dude. I've heard from like was David's family how like his mom yeah. used to like call people out on their shit and like oh yeah, my mom's hilarious. like if there was somebody that she didn't like and like she was friends with you. Like one of her friends told me she he was like, Yeah, you know, I was still friends with so and so and she was like, Why are you friends with that motherfucker anyway? Yeah. And like Why she you, Yeah, she goes, Why are you friends with that pussy? Yeah, I was <laughs> I was like, like, damn. So like, yeah. And she like she would call people out and on their they, shit. And then they'd be like, uh I don't she's like, oh, I'll just fuck with it. Yeah. It's like I don't care. She I don't think she meant it like seriously. No, she was just like trying to sweat that person. Yeah. And and make them like have to like uh, 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 and then, like, she's like, no, nah, I'm just playing. Like, I'm just kidding. But that, yeah, she, for the. But then have, the you, I, have you ever seen like your mom get into like an argument with somebody? Um, nah, because for most of my life she was pretty sick, mm-hmm. so I don't. She had like different perspective, and she, I don't think she really had the energy to really fight people like that. Mm. Um, so the version of my mom that I got to see was a more tame, calm down version. Okay. Of a more, I, I bet know, you like you guys have that in common. Like you're, uh, very chill. Oh, my, my temperament is a hundred percent. My mom's. Yeah, definitely. Well, okay. So let's talk about that. So you have a very, like you have a very calm temperament for the most part. Like you yeah. have a switch for sure. Yeah. But you have a calm temperament because of your mom. Mm-hmm. What would you consider your dad's temperament? Um, His is, is more of a serious temperament that he's, he, that could be very confrontational. <laughs> and <laughs> my... <laughs> My, he's he's kind of I don't want to say bully, but <laughs> no, he's he's kind of he's kind of a bully. He's like a bigger dude. I mean, yeah, he's like a bodybuilder. Yeah, he's not like super tall, but he he could bench like five hundred pounds. Yeah, like he he's real like real fit. Like I'm so, not saying like oh yeah, my dad my dad works out like, like no this no if when he went out. into a room he was always the most fit person in the room. You yeah. know what I mean? Like people will see him and be like. Hey, what do you do for your workouts? Yeah. Like, that's how buff this guy is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, like, there was a point in time where both me and David's dad were getting recognized in public. Yeah. <laughs> because da- he's, he's a little David's social dad, butterfly. Yeah. David's dad was, you know, like, working out a lot. And so, yeah. he has, so you think that he has more of, like, a serious. So, wh- what happened to you? How yeah, come you're not he, serious he, at all? He's more like, um, you know, he. His mannerisms and the way he is it reminds me of The Rock. Yes, like when I wa- like when I see The Rock in, in like movies and shit, oh or if God. I see The Rock just talking in general, yeah. I'm like Jesus Christ! I'm like this is my dad. No, yeah, I'm like I, I'm like so uncomfortable with him. Like this is my dad. Yeah, The Rock is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it is so similar, right? Like yeah. their mannerisms are like almost identical. Yeah, so he's more like serious. And the sense of humor is uh, not as it, it. It's like fart jokes, like that's kind of yeah. But he 
Yeah, he's like just a hardworking guy, very disciplined, just very super disciplined. Uh, nose to the grindstone, just mm-hmm. just hustling all the time. Just so just so hard. none of that seeped into you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just took all of your mom's chill. Like I'm just chilling. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, there's definitely some traits I wish I would have gotten from him. That I didn't. No, but you know what? You know, who like did? this guy will work. He he'll he'll wake up every morning four thirty, go work out. Mm-hmm. Like, like just every di- just moment discipline. of his day is accounted for, and yeah. and always working towards something, uh, you know, progressive. And he has to succeed in something every day, which is very admirable. Um, he's a person. He's a that, very successful person. Yeah, by the very way. successful in his in his everyday life. And but what I what I admire about him is his ability to like finish big projects. He is not yeah um, wary to take on anything. So that's a really admirable like quality that he has. And I think that that type of it's funny because I feel like it skipped you, not, you know, that you're this, you just have a different way of dealing yeah, with Yeah, we're just painting me as this lazy No, no, right no, 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 no. You just, you deal with things like your mom. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's different. But yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm starting to see um, very, like, similar characteristics in Ezra as mm-hmm. far as, like, you know, my son is starting to show, like, these habits of being very meticulous. And he has a bunch of cars, a bunch of them. Yeah. And every morning he has to round them up and he goes to our formal dining table and he lines them up in a row, all facing the same way. (laughs) All the trucks are with the trucks and all the cars are with the cars. And then his bus is on the side. Okay. Um, And he likes everything in a row when he has blocks, you know, he either stacks them like directly on top of each other Mm -hmm. or right next to each other. He likes everything to be neat kind of like almost ocd i i'm trying to like see you know he's too young to I, tell, I mean not i mean that's but extreme I, but I, yeah i could see that coming from your dad mm-hmm. um yeah. yeah that type of like meticulous very like detail oriented organization like nose to the grindstone very determined self-motivated all those things yeah um and i think that it's also mixed my my son is mixed with my mom too because he has well okay so those are your parents because i gotta get into mine i I always say ezra is like if my dad and your mom had a baby yeah straight up because down to the way he looks yeah to the way he acts yeah yeah it's like a perfect mixture because ezra is like really emotional and sensitive and my dad's really emotional and sensitive yeah he, he he he's a he's a teddy bear yeah i don't care what anybody says that dude I do. I know. So Ezra's kind of like the same way. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty much like if my dad and your mom had a baby. And yeah, it's just, yeah, it is. I think I wasn't expecting that. Like my parents, uh, so you had a really calm parent. Mm -hmm. Now, I know your dad. Right. Your dad is very nose to the grindstone and everything, but his dad got a temper. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just this emotional thing. It's like this, he he has a switch where, like, he, it is this confrontational, like, what's up? He's yeah. had his own street fights plenty mm. of time. He was not afraid to fight nobody. So David and I thought that it would be a good idea to come together and make kids yeah. when I knew good and motherfucking well that my mom has the past that she has. So my mom, y'all know Mama Glamour, and if you don't, <laughs> uh, she's very opinionated, very strong-willed, and she, you know, yeah, was like my grandma, that, very crazy. That's where to put it. Yeah, <laughs> she had her share of fights and shit, okay? So um, her temper, very quick. Um, she's got a smart mouth. She's very intelligent, though. Uh, she's got the biggest heart. And the more shit she talks to you, it means the more she cares about you. If she stops caring, like if she stops talking to you or she stops nagging you, it's because she stops giving a fuck. So she's just one of those people. Then you have my dad. And I didn't really get to know him, but like I've heard about him. And apparently he had the same like he was very charming. He was like good, like a salesman type of charming. Like Mm -hmm. he knew how to like. Yeah. Woo somebody, whether it be women or like in his business, he was a business owner. So with clientele and things like that, that was his that was his area of expertise where people were very comfortable around him and like he like right. But he had his side where his 
he had his temper. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of mixed things in our kids. And I was hoping that Mila was going to take on more of the chill factor of your mom. Yeah. But it, cause it seems like both of our kids don't, don't have uh, those things. <laughs> I mean, Mila, Mila can be chill. If you just like leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but she's very, she's a lot more prissy than my mom was. She definitely. That's because y'all, she flava her, you spoil her. I don't spoil, how do I spoil her? Baby, literally today, yeah. I was like, you know, she's crying, like, you got to put her down. She's just used to being in your arms. And then you kept, like, putting her down and picking her up and putting her down and picking her up, you know? She was teething. I know, baby, she had medicine. She had a teeth. That's why she was throwing her teether. Mm-hmm. And she was stomping her little foot. And, and like right now she's real little, but it's not going to be cute if we continue to let that happen. Honey. Well, I was just, she was just teething today. That's all. It was just today. It's just today? Yeah. Okay. Come here, Hita. He's just teething. Oh, Come my. Oy. Can you believe it? No. Can you remember your life without a girl? Yeah. You can? I didn't think I'd ever have a girl. <laughs> I can't even remember my life without her. I was like, I don't make girls. <laughs> but low, low key though, I definitely wanted a girl. We like needed her. But I was like, I don't want, I don't want a girl. But man, yeah, deep, deep down, I did. Yeah, I know you did. I, I really wanted a girl. Yeah. And, yeah, and then I got a girl, and then that was it. I just. Oh my God! Okay, speaking of babies. One of my best friends came out with the biggest news. I hope she doesn't mind oh, yeah. me sharing this on our podcast. Well, Christina, it just comes with our friendship, girl. Okay, it is what it is. It's like she really put it on Instagram, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so one of my best friends is pregnant, right? And it was one of those situations where she had two girls already. So, of course, you know, to switch it up a little bit. You know, we were all hoping for a boy for her. I think that low-key she was hoping for a boy as well. Of course, any mom is just like, I just want the baby to be healthy. Yeah. Um, But I just wanted her to experience that. And she's pregnant, and she found out she's having a boy. Crazy. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Congratulations, Congratulations to Chris and Christina. To guys, yeah. Um, I'm so freaking excited for them. So, um. I'll be able to have like a best friend for Ezra. Mm. And you know what else? Mm. With boys that I'm finding is like more of a trend that I can't help but feel like me and, and Ezra started. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing more and more of my friends and like influencers and stuff like that. Um, having their boys hair grow out like Ezra's and having little man buns. Mm. Um, you remember Joyce? Mm-hmm. Her son has a man bun now. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, who else? Let's see. I think Christina is going to have her son have a man bun because she she's always talking about how cute Ezra's is. Oh, and really? like Ezra's man bun is always the talk of the party every time like people see him or see pictures of him. Like I had to go to my my sister-in-law's bridal shower or my, my sister-in-law's bridesmaid brunch where we had to like meet all of each other. And um, they started talking about how cute my kids are. <laughs> So, and the big thing was like, oh my God, I heard he has a man bun. I heard that he has a man bun. Can I please see his man bun? <laughs> and it is, it is the cutest thing. And like when I first started growing out Ezra's hair, I got shit from everybody it seemed like like because it does it gets to like this fucking awkward stage where it almost looks like a bowl cut and like Uh, you know right below the ears and you're just like you got to do something with that you know and Mm -hmm. you can't pull it back you know you can't do anything with it and i was like no it's gonna be so cute and thank god i stuck to my guns because the boys including julian they were trying to convince me to cut his hair like when he was like six months old so and if it wasn't for me there would be no Ezra man bun. His hair is literally down to his butt. It's like almost to his butt. It's not to his butt. Like yet. if you get it wet, like yeah. it's pretty much down to his butt crack. <laughs> you ain't got to expose my baby like that. I, I'm just giving an idea like, of the length that he's he got. He's got beautiful locks, and like, I love it. It's like gold. It's like golden. Yeah, it's like blonde, seriously almost. golden. I don't know where. Girl, I don't know where he came from. People think we kidnapped this kid <laughs> walking down the street. With his blue eyes. I had to carry his passport, his birth certificate with my ID. Like, no, this is my baby. He was born. I was like, mm. what? Whose baby is this? Mm. 
Mm. But then I saw the eyelashes and I was like, hmm. Mm. Hmm. And then I saw your dad as a child and then my mom as a child and I was like, hmm. Yeah, they both kind of look like Brady Bunch kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Makes sense. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> but Mila, Mila's. Uh, Mila looks like me and you when we were kids. Yeah. I, I see her and I I feel like I see me when I was a kid sometimes and then I see you a lot. Yeah. She looks just like you, obviously. Little, I just see glimpses bit. of myself and my kids <laughs> because my kids look just like their daddy. They have the audacity. <gasps> After nine months of carrying them, being sick, what? like going through labor. You did a great job, my love. <laughs> Thank you, honey. That's all we have for today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this type of podcast where we just kind of talk about whatever. Yeah. You know, whatever, whatever guys, happened in the week prior. Or if you guys like the celebrity gossip stuff, just let us know down below. But we just kind of want to just talk a little bit more loosely today. Update you guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, let us know down in the comments below uh, places. Give us some suggestions of where we should vacation, you know, especially once COVID or when COVID's over. Yeah. Uh, I think we will try to get vaccinated probably. Oh, right? yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm just waiting for my eligibility. So, <laughs> You know, hopefully we can get to that soon. And uh, if you guys like this video, please make sure you like. I already know what's Give that. us a like. Yeah. Hit that like. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at the His Ex Hers Pod. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm David Cisneros. Yep. You can follow Nikki. On Instagram at Nikki Glamour and on Twitter at the Nikki Glamour because somebody stole my original username, but we're not going to talk about that today. Oh, don't forget, y'all. Make sure you set your alarms for next episode because guess what it is? Conspiracy. It is the first month. You ain't got to ruin it. Oh, I did. I thought I did. It's the first Monday of the month, which means we're gonna it's do the conspiracy hat draw. episode. So follow us on Instagram where yes. we will do the hat draw. Oh, shit. Nope, that's the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah, conspiracy so, episode. Uh, last time we did, what do we, we did Flat we Earth, We did right? a Flat Earth, people, yeah. People got very upset. Yeah, sure. Very upset. Very passionate about the Earth being flat. Yeah. Who knew? I thought it was a joke. <laughs> gave me a good soundtrack okay that, that was a good gave song. me a new a favorite song. music so artist we will uh so we'll do our hat draw one. on um our his ex hers podcast yep. instagram and comment down below if you're watching this on youtube if you have any suggestions for conspiracy theories that you'd want to see us talk about yeah we'll do a hat draw um every single month so yep. and we'll see you guys monday yep love monday. you guys peace Thanks. out